Speaking of things that you don't own, Ryujinx is getting shut down. And, oh my goodness, this is definitely a situation where it's like, all right, Nintendo, we it's not surprising that they're going after yet another Switch emulator. Um, I understand from the perspective of, you know, people who solely pirate games, um, why this is an issue, but there's also plenty of people who they do this because they just want to play the Switch games with better performance. They may even own, I mean, I, I should say, theoretically, at least a handful of the people who use Switch emulators also own Switch games and a Switch, and they just want to play the games with better performance and better visuals and things like that. But, uh, yeah, Ryujinx is gone. So, your thoughts? Well, the way I interpreted the uh, message that was posted was the fact that the was that was that possibly a deal was made um, between the creator of Ryujinx and Nintendo, just because the, the the message that was sent didn't seem it the words cease and desist were never used and there was no sort of actual threat that was mentioned. So the way I interpreted it was the fact that. Nintendo offered some sort of payment to get it taken down because I don't think Ryujinx was in a situation where Nintendo could legally sue the developers because gotcha. it's not like with Yuzu okay. where the developers foolishly bundled Switch games with uh, with the emulator, which definitely got them in a whole lot of trouble. Um, Ryujinx was a completely separate uh, emulator. There was definitely no type of switch source code or any type of code in there for them to say like hey this is a blatant you know copyright violation it was just here's the emulator here you go use it as you wish and nintendo you know they legally couldn't do anything about it so they said all right we'll just buy you out instead and give you to shut shut it down so that's how i interpreted the message there um which i'm hoping is definitely true because i mean hey if the guy got paid to shut it down <laughs> that i mean more more power to him on that friends um but it's definitely a shame though that this has been shut down i mean this is the first time i would say that it all the emulators for t for a specific platform were shut down for one reason or another like no other emulator oh, okay actually no i take that back citra got shut down alongside with yuzu so that was the first emulator that actually was completely removed um, for a platform. So it's the second time that's happened, uh, which is a real shame. Now, something I thought about was, what is the deal with Nintendo all of a sudden shutting down emulators? Because the Yuzu and Ryujinx have been out for a long, long while. And I think potentially, bec most likely because of the Switch 2 coming out, that yeah. is going to be the reason why and maybe also because of backwards compatibility maybe maybe not that could be a reason why as to why they also want to shut down the switch emulators but it the time the timing is just too much of a coincidence for it to not be anything else whether that's backwards compatibility or not the switch 2 coming out is definitely going to be in my opinion is the main reason why nintendo is all of a sudden now just going to shut down the emulators because they could have done it a long while ago um but they they never did so that's my reasons why they think why they are doing it but that being said though i mean you can still find if you know like where to go you can find the emulators out there i mean i i even found the latest version of yuzu um just a couple weeks ago i saw someone had it and i was like wow that's that's interesting i mean i already had yuzu backed up uh, before Nintendo shut that down, but I was just like, oh, that's that's interesting to see it here in the So, I mean, it's not gone for good. You can find it. It just won't be... There's no official uh, site for you to download it from. There's no GitHub. Like, the GitHub was also taken down for Ryujinx. But uh, if you look hard out there, you can definitely find it if you want to. But definitely 
sad. And we'll, I mean, eventually maybe we'll get another fork uh, for people who downloaded the source code. Uh, eventually we, sh we could and probably will get a fork, but I just don't know how long it'll be for that to happen. Yeah. Well, I I'm glad to know that I was wrong on that front. I mean, at least, at least he's getting paid for it, so that's good. Um, yeah, I, I didn't realize that it was quite that. I, I didn't look that closely into it. I just kind of made assumptions and I was wrong. Um, I mean, it's it's not official, but that's just the way I interpret right. it. Because normally with a season or whenever Nintendo shuts something down, right. there's a whole lot of C&D involved. And they make it quite clear that they're going to be sued if they don't do it. Yeah, true, true. So... I mean, at least from that standpoint, at least Nintendo's paying them for it. So that's that's a good thing. Um, I still don't like the fact that it's being taken down. But, like you said, it's probably because of backwards compatibility in the Switch 2, which who knows when we're going to actually get that announced. I'm still hoping for this month. I'm hoping that my original prediction was correct. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, it is already October, which is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it's already October, but... yes. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I do want to make it clear, I've never bothered with such emulation, and it's mostly because the way I feel about emulation is that I will do it if I don't have an easy way to play the game otherwise. And it's not necessarily like, oh, I don't have the hardware, it's more like, I don't have a way to play this game portably. Like, for example, I've emulated, um... Uh, Wii U games on the Switch. Or I've emulated... Or I'm sorry, not on the Switch. Wii U games on the uh, Steam Deck. Uh, specifically like Wind Waker HD. Because there's no, currently no Switch version of the game. And while the Wii U version is fantastic, it's not a portable device. Now granted, I, I've only played like a little tiny bit of it because... I just wasn't really, like, ready to jump into it. Originally, I thought about doing a comparison whenever the Switch version comes out. But since it doesn't seem like that's happening... I mean, then there's kind of like... Okay, no point. And I've been hearing uh, rumblings that I guess Nintendo's now going after people who have... Um, are, are striking, basically, anyone who has emulation footage on their channel. <laughs> it's like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. I mean, I don't think I have anything other than, like, maybe, like, a little single box in the intro video where it shows Wind Waker HD in there. But it's, like, Nintendo has to be really looking hard to find that because it's there for, like, two seconds. Um, but, yeah. I mean, th this whole thing about emulation, about whether people pirate a game or they actually own the game, like in the case of Wind Waker HD, which I do own... I still have my physical copy on the shelf. In fact, I could grab it right now. There we go. Wind Waker HD. Physical copy. With the disc. I still have my Wii U copy. So I own the game. Um, but it's, it's still just a situation where... Like, I, I, I know that there's plenty of people who they'll emulate games because they're just wanting to pirate the games. They don't want to pay for them. But a lot of times it's also because of the fact that Nintendo doesn't make them available. You can't buy the games anymore. And so this is the only way that people can play the games. Now, in some cases, yes, they have their stuff on Nintendo Switch Online. So you do typically have a way to pay to play those games. But... I mean... I don't know what else to say on that front. Um, it's a shame that this is happening uh, from that standpoint. But like you said, there are still ways to do it. And people who are really determined will make it happen. Personally, I don't think I'll ever bother with Switch emulation because I already have a portable device that can play the Switch games. And to me, it's more of a hassle than it's worth. But yeah, that's my thoughts. So you got anything else? Eh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. 